What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Plays, The Republic of Venice. And in this episode, uh, we are booting back this Ottoman army that thinks it can try and take Cairo. Let's show them that we mean business. So we're going to defend, defend the city and then um, attack Ankara to the north. And then that will, I think, um, take out... Well, take it, destroy the the backbone of the Ottoman Empire. I mean, I know they still have uh, more cities to operate from, but if we can take Cairo and kind of secure it, we can potentially push eastward towards Jerusalem and Damascus. At which point, we may end up trying to make peace with the Ottoman Empire, um, because then we'll have. Well, if they want to attack us, they'll have to cross quite a, a large area of of uh, desert. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, set my foot artillery up on the hill behind us because they're going to be engaging in counter battery work. My howitzer is going to provide direct support. Group my. I'll put my marines one flank. Split my cavalry up. Get ready to do a lot of forming in squares because they have lots of. Um, Lots of cavalry, so you guys all focus on their their howitzers. My my howitzers try and engage their howitzers. I'm going to get my howitzers to also keep bombarding their guns, particularly their organ guns. Because these guys pushing in, I mean... Let them commit. Maybe they've been broken, so let's get you guys out of square. Push up your line. Oh, look at that! They've gone and they've uh, surrounded the the gun position with their own troops. So we're getting a bit of fire from them now. So make no mistake, I do want to push when we're in a position to do so. I actually, push those camels back without even. He might deploy my. Cavalry to try and pursue those camel gunners. Push my camels up. So push my cavalry up rather, not my camels. They're all Mamelu guards, but we can deal with them. Nope, those camels are shattered. Right. It looks like their howitzers, their organ gun crews have run away. So let's switch my howitzers to Karka Shot and begin attacking this infantry block. Get you guys out of square. They're pushing in hard now. Drive up my left flank. You guys get out of square. Get my cavalry in on either flank. You're not moving, thankfully. Still lots of lots of uh, cavalry back here. We might actually keep engaging them with our foot artillery. But for the most part, we want our howitzers to begin clearing out some of these troops. The un unfavorable odds for cavalry engagement, but you are wavering. Advance up my cavalry unit here. Camel nomads have made it into combat, but they're being engaged. Okay, let's test something. If we ignore. You will chase after us, but we'll go after the howitzers instead. Excellent. 
excellence. Let's get my general over here ready to do some good. Aha, we found the hidden Bashi Bazooks. Same with my infantry, actually. Pull back. In my cavalry, back over and group, group all my cavalry together. How it says engage. Actually, you guys might try hit the Mamelukes. I mean, they're being pursued by that unit, that unit of Mamelukes. It's probably better I do just combine them. Stop them getting caught out quite so much. So let's human advance to form a defensive line there. Human outflank those Janissary Grenadiers. Put artillery engage with Janissary Musketeers. How it says focus on these Janissaries that are hitting our right flank. Excellent. Bearing in mind my marines and my militia now in a straight fight, what I want to do is to start pushing these guys up around the flank of that beefy unit. You guys plug the gap. Human gang up on the Armenian archers. The Bashi Bazooks are not going to last very long. Yeah, they're shattered. Get my general in, start chasing them down. These men protect the general. These Mamelukes are still in. Howitzers chase them with Howitzer fire. Get my long guns to start engaging the actual infantry on the field. Hope you do actually leave. Right. The human chased down the Bashi Bazooks. Yeah, they're, they're going. They're going heavy on our right flank. Artillery engage the Mamelukes. So he's the general. That's the reason why they're being so coy with them. How about you? Push up some more infantry to begin actually hitting them with musket fire. They're not going to let us do that, but let's see if we can. So right now, they're there going, on oh, shucks. This artillery fire is no good. You yeah, know, we don't want any part of that. Yeah, we're going to continue. Get this 5th Regiment and nail it over here. Try to go after some Janissaries. People can go after whatever they can. Uh, 
Uh, they're definitely going to escape. Lots of people are very far away. Artillery ceasefire. Nice. That'll teach you to go after this city. The city belongs to Venice. Back you go, you devils. Could pursue them and try and take them out. We might actually do that. Because there there is there are no other major threats. So I think I want to go over here. Although let's recover. They're going to push us out of the port. They might do a bit of raiding. Let's be smart about this. Spend some money doing some replenishing. But the main thing we want to do take the city of Ankara. This will this will do some do some harm to them. Uh, there isn't going to be stacked to the west. But the intention is, if I take Ankara, they may do raiding, and they will they will probably do a lot of raiding. Uh, but, but, eventually, this city will become what, become part of our empire, and they will accept it, and they will they will like it, and it will feel it will feel good. And, oh, it's raining. So no sound. <laughs> sound doesn't work in the rain, or is not very consistent in the rain. There we go, it's back. Well, actually, I might put my... My infantry line on the left. My pikemen and my grenadiers are going to go through the town. You know, I don't think we're going to necessarily need all of our strength. So the infantry. Run, run, run. All my artillery is engaging their artillery, which is nice. Cavalry advance. Pylock on Populous is the nearest thing to worry about, but I'm not gonna. They should be going after, yeah, they are going after my pikes as a as the priority, which is quite typical. The AI is very scared of pikemen. So if nothing else, when you have them in your army, you know that's what they're gonna shoot at. You know, my grenadiers got hit as a got hit as a as collateral damage. Run my cavalry because these guys might be involved in a bit of a scrap as soon as they get into position. We're already engaging the enemy. 27th going to engage the garrison Islamic swordsmen. I oh, know they're already shooting at the firelock on populace. Oh. Run my pikes up. Run my grenadiers up. You can charge it if you like, but you're going to do very poorly in the melee. Or you can run now. Form up on the flank. Pikemen go up to the mortars, they're mortal enemy. We found their Azar. Focus them. I mean, it, it is terrible when it rains. Just can't see much of anything. There we go. Ah. 
you who tried to kill us. Now we try to kill you. Oh, that was their captain. Alright, they did charge us, but they broke. Well, that might be it. Oh no, there's a garrison Serrata unit. See if we can break them with a good old fashion cavalry charge. They're already shaken. Ah, oh, and they were going to shoot at my pikemen that are heroically charging up the hill. That might be it. Yes. The city was taken in a very unglorious, unglamorous fashion, but you know what? That'll do. You know what is very tempting to try and do, though? It's very tempting to try. Will the Ottomans give us peace to consolidate our territory? Yes, they will. So now you're gone. I mean, granted, they are all clustered, but in terms of Cairo, it does mean that they are now clustered where we want them. <laughs> we can sit here and defend this... Well, we can kind of defend this border. Better off defending the town. You start converting Cairo. Cool! So let's get rid of this school. Or do we keep it? More schools is more better, and I could really do with it. Why upgrade Kayseri to be a, a church school? And I upgrade... Oh no, I probably want you to be a coaching inn. Because a coaching inn adds more default happiness. Actually, let's not build a church school yet, because I need these guys to clear off. I need this guy to clear off. So in which case, Ankara, I'm actually going to... Repair the conservatorium and maybe exempt you guys from tax. Just so I can try and... If I can stabilise the territory and have the school, that'll be super. Let's repair the port to give us a little bit of extra money. Great, because then we've got uh, Sinop to the north, this trade port here, and this shipyard here. Which is super useful, so we can kind of consolidate these into our empire a little bit. And then, not that we want to focus on the, uh, focus on the, um, Prussians, but we do need to kind of be cognizant of the fact that they are very scary. So we're on for 5,700 next turn, because a bunch of our trade is being raided. Not a lot we can do about that. Over here in Syracuse, I'm going to take one of your, like, galleys, put you into Izmir. Excellent. Because, yeah, granted, it does kind of folk shuttle them all together, um, but it does also mean that they are... Economically, they're going to be in a bad place. The Ottomans, that is. And the second school is, is worthwhile trying to get, so we don't have to spend as much time... Or we can, we can make a bit more progress... So I did dispatch half of my Vienna army west to try and make sure my capital is protected from these those sorts of marauders. I mean, they can still attack us by ship. You're going to go after... Oh yeah, now well, you're going after Austria's port. That's not ideal, but... Yeah, whatever. I, don't, I didn't give the school a, a something to research off the bat either. Oh well. I think ideally, if I can, if we can reach some sort of stability in the Middle East, it would be beneficial to push against Russia just to let them know that we are. Their time is over. Or we may end up taking Hungary and giving it to Austria. Because I don't, I don't necessarily want to push further north. But it is in our interest to 
for the for our northern flank to be secure. Six thousand gentlemen in Venezia. You can go into Verona. There's an enemy agent in here. So Konya. Let's get Konya researching. Probably some of our. Although you've actually <laughs> we're really quite bad with some of these naval techs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Start with the naval technologies. Um, right. Che cosa desiderate? Because you're converting people slowly, which is fine. We don't want to upgrade the school yet. We want to do some repairs. And then try see if we can get the church school going. Let's pick a couple of units to replenish and then... Mr. Giov Gio Galvani. We're going to request some infantry reinforcements. Because we are still at war with Hungary. If we can get a reasonable army here, we can lay siege to the city, trip them, and then take them out. Because, yeah, these guys are here just to make sure that these Prussian troops don't get up to any mischief. Actually, now we've got you... Like, you're very much not happy. Islam is growing at the cost of everything else, which is unfortunate, but Aswan's going to take a while to grow here in Cairo. If you're growing at 37 a turn, it's pretty good. 5,300. Okay. I mean, I, bit, I, I really do believe part of the reason why Britain hasn't come after us in the way they would like is because Spain has been controlling the strait. But yeah, if I can get this army at Aswan, not army at Aswan, the army near Vienna stronger, I will push to try and take back Hungary, or take Hungary, for, and then give it back to the Austrians. Because I don't want it. I'm I am best served trying to defend the Austrian capital, or to help defend it. Go get a oh, I thought Austria. I thought the Italian states were going to go get the Ottoman fleet. Pirates are going to pirate. Oh, 5,100. Okay, now I can tax you. I'm going to upgrade the coaching in immediately to a boarding house. I'm going to recruit a militia to hold the shipyard. I'm going to build cobbled roads in Ankara. But I am reaching a point where I'm probably going to need to hold off. You're going to recruit a unit of marines to back you up. That'll take a bit of time, but that's okay. We're not in a massive rush. You're powerful enough to probably scare off um, Spain from doing anything. Let's upgrade this farm in Naples. Got one gold coin left. If we get our... Oh, thanks to Ankara being taxable now. Make sure you're being taxed as well. That's an extra one and a half thousand in tax revenue a turn. And Sinop is growing next turn. So then we can get that built into another military harbour. Not military harbour, sorry, trade trade port. That's what we want. And I don't like that, because it could well be that Spain's going to come and attack me.
Yeah, the Ottomans are sending their agents back. And I'd like to think the pr the, uh, the Ottomans are going to start feeling some economic pressure now. They're going to start feeling the pinch. You would hope. Actually, let's see if I can get some new trade relationships. So you've got rights of man. Excellent. They've gone straight on with national debt. Although, well, ultimately, you have to keep going along some of these philosophical texts because these are some of the the best ones to bake in. Um, in terms of trade... Yeah, it's a whole lot of nothing. Although I could build a commercial base and try and... That will get us extra trade routes. I'm going to want to do that. It cuts off my research for, a next uni for the next university, but needs must. let's repair this carpet weaver so the militia can go down to Antalya the light galley can go up to oh no you go into here the light galley go up to here you will become a trade port not a local fishery because lots of these towns have actually already developed Upgrade the conservatorium to an opera house. Straight happiness benefits plus town wealth growth and all that good stuff. Good growth. Industry is going to add some extra growth. Enlightenment is going to grow good. Get produce some growth. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Although Konya, I know you were on the we're on the arti the naval stuff. I might actually keep you going down the military route because I want to get in a military academy so I can build the gunnery school well I want to get I need to get quick climb now so I know it's not the best route to go about it by using this school to do it but Verona's focused on the the, the uh, philosophical technologies because they just provide straight okay so we are we're, we're squaring off against the uh, the imam to try and get some new people into our religion. Yeah, occasionally, now we're getting about... Now we are roughly on course for getting... Now we're roughly on course for getting... Uh, 7,000-ish gold a turn. We want to make sure we're using it on the higher tier buildings. That we're not wasting them on. That we're not wasting them on. Uh, well, I mean, lots of cheaper upgrades are good, undoubtedly. But because we're earning so much money, so much, quote unquote, relatively, for our this campaign, um, it's very you've got to make sure that we do want to try and build. Do we want to buy things that are really good purchases that we couldn't normally buy, like upgrading the university from a classical university to a modern university? Although, to be fair, we don't necessarily need to worry about these yet. They're very good. But once Verona's finished these, you might be better off trying to finish, fill out some of this other stuff. Hmm. To be decided. I think what I'm in for this turn is to make sure that my recruitment here is strong enough. If I can spend... 800 or less on a unit that would be ideal and that will probably be expat infantry no way oh right, it's because I, it's because i've been upgrading as well right because i do want to keep upgrading my in my um ports around the patch and also roads because right now we don't have good roads throughout the kingdom. Oh, I am tempted by the state capital here at Sarajevo. I'm also tempted by you and by you. OK, 
Okay, I think we might be on with upgrading some of our industry. How are your roads coming along? One more turn. Excellent. I don't think there's anything else we can do except upgrade Batman to a craft workshop. Why not? It's probably it's going to be immediately raided and destroyed, but in the meantime it will provide good wealth bonuses. Religious unrest may likely get worse. Well, no, it can't get much worse. But that's why we're upgrading the coaching inn and we're upgrading the opera house. And we'll repair the shipyard as well. Okay. Royal Navy are keeping the Caribbean in check. Austria's on the march, although have they left their capital completely exposed now? Maybe. See, I haven't I didn't attack Poland fast enough and now they are going after me. Not unexpected really. It's, it's I, sh I should have pinned them pinned them in a long time ago. Unless, do I try and make peace with them? I think the answer is probably no. They're going to disable. They're going to disrupt our plans. Okay, first of all, ministers, you are not going to be in charge of our treasury. Plus one navy. So you are. Oh, minus one. Actually, you're, you're just not very good. First of all, you. Plus one treasury. So you're, a be you're an immediate upgrade for treasury minister. You're okay for my navy guy. You're three staff general. In general, you're, you're only good at the treasury. Plus one management. Plus one navy. Plus one management. You're good for the head of government. So I think I'm going to try and replace my navy guy with this guy. Leonardo Loja. Who is... Who wants to be the justice minister. But... Although actually... I think I like this a bit more. So first of all... Attack Hungary. Oh, I I'm not going to... I'm not going to um, pursue it. We're going after... You guys. You're going to go up to here. See if you see if it lures them away. And because a large portion of that uh, that Prussian army has just been damaged by the uh, by the uh, by the Austrians. There we go. We're starting to. We're starting to uh, surround what the Poles think they're going to gain here. I mean, Venice is now... Vienna is now completely unprotected. That's your fault. That is your fault. And there's not a lot we can do about it. We don't really need you here. So you may end up going north as well. We may end up creating a couple of armies here and then try and take Prague or Breslau or something. Although it looks like Prussia is being... is under pressure. So it's, con it's converge on Belgrade. Um, and I think... Now might be the time I want to start scattering some better roads out because I don't think... I think we okay let's do it do two things at once here let's slowly start upgrading roads and keep upgrading our port infrastructure and probably upgrade see if we i mean i don't think this will help it increases happiness with the catholic population but i don't think it necessarily increases the rate at which they become catholic yeah, that clamour for reform is really bad. A 
upgrade the boarding house upgrade the boarding house to a theater if i get an agent i will try and kill this priest but yeah let's get ready to deal with this <laughs> you are now in at rate at the in danger vienna um and i do not i'm unwilling to send these guys out of the capital because they provide a bit of firepower unless i can get spain if I give you square formation and military syllabus, I'm not going to give you Bosnia, but what about everything else? Perfect. Good. So now you can try and help protect Vienna. Okay, next turn we're on for 6,300 because trade's being raided. And this is fundamentally why... Oh, no. As soon as... The, oh, go away. Go away, Britain. As soon as Spain is not protecting the Med, suddenly the British have, have sent an army into the Med. And we're at war with them. Okay, let's see if I can make peace with them. Oh, they're going to come and raid me now. Okay, let's... Well, this is my army to the west, sadly. Um, shh, you know, actually. Let's do it. My garrison army might not be able to take them, but my reinforcing army, they're a solid bunch of guys with line infantry and artillery. So I need to bring those men that are, that are at Vienna back to my city. Because that's given Prussia the uh, the confidence to go in, go in and start raiding my territory. Basically, you guys, in theory, want to be over here. It's not bad, actually. Get over here. Good artillery. Get up on the hill. My mortars engage. I mean, my mortars. These mortars always, for me, engage a lot less, a lot less successfully than than uh, than it does when the AI is doing it. units up behind I don't quite know where I want to put them yet. Okay, you guys bolster this flank. You guys have to go around the inside. Yeah, I looked and I thought, actually, they're pretty weak. <laughs> if they're pretty weak, we can take them out. <laughs> Especially with this, this fully stocked army coming in behind. These poor old dragoons. They look great. Okay, now you're out here, I can say, right, let's get you over here. Skirmishers. They're going to pitch up just outside of my range. Let's fall back. The guys back here will probably do. The dragoons might get the light infantry. 
make ready. Form square. Here I'll do. I need you to just start shooting at the warband. These dragoons are going to get knocked off their horses. He may jump onto the dragoons. Gonna hit some of them probably under um, as collateral damage. Okay, advance. Form up. Those. Uh, looking awful upset. To hell with them. We're going in. Oh, they're shattered now. Artillery smack them. You made a big mistake going after this city. You thought no one would defend it. Oh, excellent. They have just rushed the rest of their troops in. Great. My artillery is going to engage the bodyguard. Running around to the rear. There goes the infantry mercenaries. The war bands now in the mix as proper line troops. Actually, you guys might try and. Look at the line. Look at them. Look at the. Uh, Volunteers in here as well. That's right, form square, because there are enemies all around you. They're surging towards the weak part of my line. <laughs> that volley saw off the militia. Regulars will also be in danger. You might have managed to plink the general office for some. Well, he's wandering into range. Push up to the high ground. Okay, now I think the, the uh, volunteers may no longer have a role. There goes the general. General's out of here. They're coming after you now, so we're going to form up with this infantry. They're going to get into position and wait. Especially because, yeah, it looks like... Wavering? Why are you wavering? Wait till they get to the crest of the hill.
storm. There we go. Now they're getting fired upon, and they don't like it. Skirmish your warband and irregular warband. They're all that remain. The general has fled. Doom to join the routing troops. Yeah, there they go. The city is saved! Huzzah! Huzzah and hurrah! Victory for us! Now, where did that make them run? <laughs> Complete. Yeah! The garrison is secure. Uh, you're gonna come in. You're going to. Not today, run away. It definitely looks like they are following that up with some extra troops. Right. I think this is where we have to kind of double down on our defense and all oh, well, the operations in nor uh, Central Europe, Central slash Eastern Europe. Rather than focusing on the Middle East. 8,000. So this garrison's going to go out and stomp on them. Just get rid of them. Human regroup on the road. I think we've got to advance and offer them battle Ronti, to see if they take it. Because right now you are... You're going to fall back to Zagreb. And you're falling back to Vienna, aren't you? Because of you... Get some units of line. Probably a... Hussar unit as well, just to bolster you. Let's get a trade port on the go. What a trade put upgrade on the go plus I mean, we can't build any we can't recruit can't do much really um I th think I want to upgrade the roads in Ankara because the I've got so many towns plus by plus five per ten to town wealth I think increasing that will be huge. Oh, do I go for more ports? Patras has a port. You can have a port upgrade. Going to a crew galley. <clears throat> that means you don't get a port upgrade. But... Hmm. But what does it mean? Let's get an upgrade to the National Observatory here at Ankara. Just a second, guys. Right. Um, okay, so we need to consolidate our forces here. We've got more than enough to do a lot of damage to our enemies. They are going to raid Verona, which will be unfortunate, but there we go. 7,300 is what we'll be earning. Well, in theory, what we should be earning. The Br Thank God, the British fleet is withdrawn. Austria can defend Vienna, which it looks like they are capable of doing now. Okay, Prussia's moved back. Yeah, that was kind of inevitable. Only a temporary setback. Our, our forces are sweeping back into the region. Sweeping in a decent way as well. So we these guys should be able to stay here. Because we've grown our armed forces considerably. And we've actually managed to grow our treasury. 
Army destroyed. Yes, yes, yes. Well, sadly, that oh no, that wasn't me. You went back to here. So one force is going to go along the coast road. Going to recruit a general who is going to request cavalry support. This infantry army is going to go to, Al to Antonio Galvani. You are going to focus. You're going to put Hungary under pressure. Come, come save it. But like I said, we're not going to attack it. We'll probably siege it. And then see what happens. You need to make sure you maintain as much forward movement as you can. Let's see if we can get... A regiment of well, a regiment of horse might be a bit too much if I want to upgrade a port as well. Levare l'ancora in attesa di altri ordini. Okay. Break, 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 break. Kill that guy. If we need to kill him and get, get anchor converting over to Catho um, Catholicism in just. Out by default, because if we get attacked now, we can't actually leave the city. I mean, we, we might have to just destroy the school. If we can't get rid of... If we can't um, get rid of this agent, or if my rake dies, then the school's being demolished, because I can't have Ankara being an unstable region if it's potentially going to be attacked. Right. Let's get... I mean... I'm actually tempted just to boost my army because we're gonna we're gonna re return to this part of the world in force, and it is going to knock down our income next turn. Oh no! Oh, Britain's just protecting the Spanish port. Okay, I can deal with that. I mean, if we get attacked by Hungary, I may well withdraw. Opportunity to intercept. I may say, click yes, actually, because then they're all coming in from one direction and we can set up quite nicely. Set up really nicely, actually, and it will push the garrison away. It may even be a bridge battle, although I don't know if I count as actually standing on it. Um, but anyway, I think looking at the timer, I'm going to end the episode here because that could be really fun. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.